The faded yellow pickup, its paint now almost white as sand, puttered up the mine road to the boarding house. Small wet flakes of snow melted on Bone's tongue as she sat on the front steps, watching the truck's progress. The snow barely left a skift of cover before it melted into the brown grass. Up the road at the church, the choir practiced Oh Holy Night. Bone Phillips pulled her mama's butter yellow sweater tight around her. As her fingers dug into the yarn, it showed her mother unwrapping a sparkly pink ornament. She handed it to her sister, while a very young Bone and her cousin played nearby. Daddy and Uncle Ash dragged an enormous Virginia pine into the parlor of their old house. Mama inhaled the scent. Pine tar and damp earth mingled with fresh-baked sugar cookies, filling the tiny room. The men raised the tree up in the corner, only to find the poor thing a foot too tall. Mama laughed, and Bone felt her pure joy in the moment. Stop it, Mama, Bone whispered as she pushed the vision away. Mama might have been dead for six years, but she wasn't above nudging Bone out of a mood. This Christmas wasn't going to be joyous or peaceful. How could it be? Daddy was off to war, fighting Nazis somewhere in North Africa. Uncle Henry's ship went down not two months ago in the Atlantic. Ruby was moving to Radford. And it was that time of the year, the time when Uncle Ash disappeared, if only for a week or two.